Welcome to Quick Bites. It's in the world here making five-star dishes and cooking simulator. Today we are tackling the chicken tortellini soup. So this is a little bit in depth, but I'm going to break this down and hopefully give you some easy tips to make this happen really quick and for five stars. So to start, we're going to start with the chicken. We're going to season that with sweet bell pepper, salt and pepper. That's all five grams each. And I'm going to do it in that order. Let's do five grams. Make sure it's what's going on the chicken and not what's getting poured. For example, if you do this, there you go. You see, I've poured six grams, but only five hit the chicken because you never know. Sometimes if you're moving the thing slightly, not everything will hit the food you're trying to aim at. It's always best to check that out. And from here, we need to cut up carrots and onions. As usual, I have those pre-diced. You need two carrots into 14 gram pieces. These are all, they vary between 14 and 16, or 14, 15, and 13, all within about one. Same with the onions. You need one onion cut into 15 gram, 15 gram pieces. Uh, these vary between 14 and 16. I, I find it's easier to err on the side of uh, one gram off. Once you start getting into two and three, unless you have perks enabled, uh, you'll start getting the cutting error uh, point deduction. So it's a tight margin of error there, but as you progress in the game, it will loosen up quite a bit. I should mention though, for the chicken breast, at the end of the dish, when you get ready to serve, you need to cut it into 20 gram pieces. So like in the past, we're going to go ahead and cut the chicken into 20 gram pieces. For the meal, you only need three. So you only need three 20 gram pieces in the dish. So you don't have to be too, too careful. As you'll see, I already pre-did it and there's a 21, there's a 20, and I there's another 20 gram piece. So I'm in the ballpark, but if you want a quick and easy guide for this one, uh, I actually did this the first time. So what I did was I cut it down the center and that makes two 120 gram pieces. I choked up just a little bit here and cut it in half. And then I cut those halves into thirds. And then if you come through here, you should, okay, those, those are a little large. Those are a little too big but I've got some 18 and 19 gram pieces. So even out of this, I could have used that to cook and I'd have something for the meal. This also goes to show you could probably do this with, you know, keeping the chicken breast whole, but I'm worried about making sure we have everything all set to go. So with this all ready, let's go ahead and we need to add to the pan 15 milliliters of olive oil. Then the chicken breast, carrots, and onions, and we'll fry that for 30 seconds. So let me grab my olive oil. We'll try to be quick about this. There we go, 15 grams. I didn't go over this time. We don't have to taste the olive oil. We'll load up the chicken, the carrots, and the onions. Obviously not all of these you can get to lie flat. I'm going to shake it just a little bit and hope most of it's touching. If you guys haven't started yet, it's probably a good idea to use a stopwatch. I use the stopwatch on my phone and we'll set that for 30 seconds. Well, that's going, let's talk about the tortellini. If you've watched any of my other dishes, you'll know you'll lose points. You'll have all sorts of errors if you don't use a bottle of water to cook the pasta. It has to be exactly 1,000 milliliters or one liter of water. So we'll get that ready. We also need to salt that, but we're coming up on 30 seconds right now. As you can see, the onion is cooked. The carrots, eh, not quite halfway. The soup's halfway, and that's what matters. So let me grab the salt. I want to get that pasta going before we get too carried away. Five grams. And then of course the tortellini, we need 150 grams of tortellini. 
Let's pour that in. 150. Now it says 150 went in, but you always want to check. As you can see, much more went in than 150. That's not cool. If it says it poured 150, you would think 150 went in. Get rid of one more. I won't give this a good shake too, make sure everything's underneath the water. Oh, we don't need this box anymore, we'll toss that. And this boils for 35 seconds, so let me do that real quick before we get too carried away. 35 seconds it will go. Now back to our, the rest of the dish. So we fried it for 30 seconds to a pan. We're going to add a liter of chicken broth, 20 milliliters of lemon juice, 50 milliliters of red wine, one bay leaf, and three twigs of thyme. So let me get started with that. We've got a second pot here, and we're just going to dump in all the chicken broth. Hopefully this dumps quick. We are coming up on 35 seconds right about now. Tortellini is perfect. Fantastic. Now I'm going to be a little careful pouring stuff in. We're going to use a second dish here. We need 20 milliliters of lemon juice. Okay, so I went over just a little bit. We'll taste that back down. There we go, 20 milliliters. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy ladle, my favorite tool in the cooking simulator kitchen. And we're gonna ladle this out because we can grab it all and it goes straight into the pot, just like so. We're setting this down because we need 50 milliliters of red wine. So we can just pour in red wine here. I'm not too worried about measuring it out exactly because this ladle does 50 milliliters. Isn't that perfect? And there we go. That's loaded up. We'll get that set aside. Next, we need to put the bay leaf in and the thyme, and we boil that. Get rid of that bowl too. So here's the one bay leaf and the th three sprigs of thyme. That's 15 grams. Give this a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. And we let this boil for 30 seconds further, and then we add the rest of the goodies. I'm gonna do that real quick and we'll come back in just a second. All right, so it is done boiling. You'll see the bay leaf and the thyme twig are starting to burn. You guys, the observant ones may have noticed I clicked this burner and let it cook. Uh, which was the incorrect burner. We, uh, I, I, I kept frying, so I had to redo. I went back and redid these three. I actually cooked these all three together since they're all like 30 seconds, except, you know, and this one's 35. So you can multitask if you have this all prepared. I'm just trying to go step by step for you, but you can, you can combine tasks and knock them out all together. So then once we have boiled the soup, we add the chicken breast, the carrot, and the onions, and we continue to boil for 40 seconds. We'll take this, we'll grab the chicken breast, and next the carrot, and finally the onions. Give this a good shake. Everything's taken care of. Now I will click the correct burner this time and we'll let this go for 40 seconds. And while I let that go, I'm going to, we'll add the tortellini last. Let's let this cook. And we are coming up on 40 seconds right about now. Let's see how everything is cooked. The carrot's not cooked all the way through. The chicken is though, so that's good. The mixture is not. But I don't think we missed anything. I think we cooked everything as it's supposed to. So the chicken's already cut. You don't have to worry about that. Each serving consists of 300 milliliters of the mixture. So let's grab our ladle. That's two of these. Fill that up. We got that taken care of. Then we need 
three pieces of chicken breast, uh, and then we'll pick out the carrots and onions from there. Let me grab my soup. You gotta find some nice pieces of chicken. There's a 20 gram piece, 21, and another 20, perfect. Next, we go with the, uh, yeah, the carrot. Pick out some 14 gram pieces. A 14, 14, that's a 13. We'll do a 15, we'll go a little heavy. So this just goes to show you want to be careful. Sometimes, yeah, you see the kitchen is such a chaotic place. I spilled three milliliters, but just to make sure we have everything tight, we're going to put that back in. I'm not going to lose points for three milliliters being gone. We have close to enough carrots. Let me grab another, uh, if we got a bigger piece in here. So we have our 42 grams of carrots. Next, we will add 30 grams of onion. So that's just two pieces of onion. If we can figure that out. There we go. And we'll add all of the tortellini. And that should be the full soup. This was definitely one of the more chaotic episodes. We had a few things drop and spill, but I think we did pretty damn good. We got our full five stars. Let's see if there's any complaints. The tortellini was too cold. So some of our shenanigans, we probably should have waited till the end to cook that, or at least that last section where it's cooking for 40 seconds. That probably, probably what you guys want to do. But even if you do it all, three in that first step you should be fine of course you know avoid the spilling if you can but hopefully this helped you guys if you're struggling with any other dishes please let me know down in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching as i simulate my life one game at a time if you enjoy this video please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action you can follow on twitter for updates of future games being played as well as follow on Twitch, as I'll occasionally stream live. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.